So friends, I was invited by my friend Richard Crofts to come meet them over at the West Gate that used to be the Hilton, and before that it was the International. This is the place that Elvis played and sold out more than 600 times in the showroom is what they called it. So we're going to go in and take a look, but first I'm going to show you what it looks like if you were checking in there or just driving through what it looks like out front. Check this out. Let's ride through and just act like we own the place. What do you think? So back in the day, if you were coming here to see Elvis, there would be Elvis posters all over this place. I'm going to show you that in just a little bit in the video. Well, yesterday when you showed us photo, you know, yeah. you can see that the tiles are the same. Yeah. yeah. He was right down in here. Yes. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hello. Look at this thing. This you got to see. Because it says 837 consecutive sold out performances. It's complete bogus. It 600 he did 600 or something. So that's totally wrong. Or something yeah. like that. So they basically didn't know. Didn't care to know. We're lucky. We're in. So Elvis friends <laughs> would have been probably where this green X is. This is the spot. This so one. this was Elvis's vantage point on the stage. This is what it looked like to him. 1969-1976. Incredible. So if you have ever wondered what it looked like behind the scenes, like this water fountain right by Elvis's dressing room and Elvis posing for a picture in front of it with a lady, check this out right here, and other behind the scenes stuff, you have come to the right place. Look at that. It is still there. It is still there, friends. If you want to see behind the scenes, you got to click the link at the end and watch the rest of the videos. There's a six-part series.